Hey yo, what it do YouTube? It's your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10, and finally, after a bit of a hiatus, we are back. Now, for those of you who can hear in my voice, I am still kind of sick, so you're gonna have to bear with me for this one. But I could not go without recording a video for any much longer. And ladies and gentlemen, the build that I have for you today happens to be the best Mikel Bridges build on NBA 2K23 Next Gen. Now, I will not lie to you, this build is inspired mainly by the fact that whilst being with the Brooklyn Nets, this man has managed to ball out. Plus, I've managed to see a lot more of his three-point celebration, which I personally love because it's so, it's just clean as hell. If you haven't seen it, Google Mikel Bridges celebration, the cleanest celebration you'll ever see. Now, as most of you know, Mikel Bridges is the starting shooting guard, right-handed jersey number one for the Brooklyn Nets. Moved his way from Phoenix to Brooklyn when they traded for KD. Height-wise, he does come in at 6'6", six six, also weighing 209 pounds with apparently a 7'1 wingspan, which is, yeah, hella impressive, you know what I'm saying? It, it explains why he's great at defense, because the majority of people who are really good at defense tend to have really long wingspans, which is why I might so call myself a clap god. But uh, body shape-wise, he does come in kind of compact because he's not the most built person on the court, but either way, compact happens to be the best body shape to run in this game, in my personal opinion, just because it makes everything look a little bit smoother and it doesn't look as clunky when you're playing the game. Now, before we get into the skill breakdown for the build, I do got to say thank you to, for, to all of you for all the support you have been showing to the channel. With me being sick, you're still watching videos, liking videos, dropping comments. Some of you even showed up to the stream and I randomly hopped on because I figured, let me try myself out. And yeah, we're still hella ill. So thank you for all that support. It is highly appreciated. But I do got to say, if you like today's video and you want to see more content like this, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button down below because it helps me know that you guys are really enjoying these videos and helps, you know, keep the motivation up. So let's aim for at least 25 likes on the video. If you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on. We are aiming to get at least 1,000 900 subscribers ASAP and in order to do that that's over 100 subs away so we're gonna need as many of you to subscribe as you can because a large majority of you who watch the videos aren't even subscribed and lastly but not least the most important thing of all if you're new to the do me a favor go ahead down below in the comment section and drop a comment telling me what you think about the build any criticisms you have anything I could do to improve it as well as any other potential builds that you guys want to see me make on the channel now getting the physicals out the way first decided to go with a 90 when it came to the stamina a 70 when it came to the vertical 36 on the strength which is influenced by our driving layup as well as our perimeter defense acceleration we put this up to an 83 as well as giving the build an 80 speed my key thinking here is Mikel Bridges is fast but he ain't super fast he has the ability to get contact dunks, but he's not one of those dudes who you say jumps out the gym to uber athletic needs. And then we gave him a 90 on the stamina just because he happens to be one of the best two-way players in the league. Let's not forget, this man was competing for Defensive Player of the Year last year. Now, getting to finishing out the way first, we decided to go with an 86 on the driving layup because it, sorry, driving layup, driving dunk, because it allows you to get them pro contact dunks as well as gold aerial wizard and gold limitless takeoff alongside with silver posterizer. Then on the driving layup side of it, went with an 80 because again, he has a knack for finishing at the cup. If you've seen this man score, he averages about 26 in Brooklyn for a reason because when it comes to finishing at the cup, he, he knows how to do what he needs to do. Now, drive it, standing dunk wise, we left this at a 31 because that is how the game gives it to you once you improve the driving dunk. Now, this does mean we only finish with 14 total finishing badge points, which is why from the plus four you get from having played in my career, I would slap at least three of them here. That way you have the capabilities of coring limitless takeoff and slapping on posterizer as well as some other badges as you see fit. Now, shooting wise with any Mikel Bridges build, you gotta respect it. So we decided to go with an 87 when it came to the three ball, as well as an 86 when it came to the midi, just because as much as it, it like it is unspoken of how well this guy can shoot the ball. Like he is hella impressive with his ability to finish just shooting generally. So I had to respect it by giving him an 86, 87 split. Now I did that does mean he doesn't get gold agent threes or dead eye or limitless range but the truth of it is he is not at that capability i don't believe he deserves those sort of badges on his build but this does allow us to get 25 total shooting badge points if you wanted to you could slap one more on mid-range to get an 8 to 26 but we decided to go with 25 and free throw wise we're gonna adjust this last just because i gotta fill out the other stuff to get this build as high as we can now when it comes to the ball handling I decided to go with an 85 on this because as you know that's what you need to be able to at least get gold quick first step unpluckable as well as hyperdrive when it comes to the pass accuracy Put this up to a 75 because we were trying to get that badge count up as well as allow him to have the capability of moving the ball around which he does in real life and then obviously with the speed of the ball you always got to go with a 79 because it does give you that extra badge point in this case allowing us to finish the grand total of 19 total playmaking badges now again if you're me i would personally slap on quick first step get unpluckable to about silver and then from there it's a choice of how you want to do things most likely core killer combos and then from there it's up to you now, defensively, we decided to go with an 86 on the perimeter defense with this build because, as I said, he was competing for Defensive Player of the Year last year, and this was because of his ability to really guard up at all three levels. 
And then when it comes to the steal, decided to go with an 85 on the steal because he does have the knack for jumping and passing lanes and getting the ball. And with an 85 steal, we do have the capabilities of getting silver interceptor as well as silver glove. And then obviously on the block, went with a 75 because it does allow us to get that gold chase on artist. And then when it comes to the rebound and put this up to a 47 just for the heck of it. Now, actually, I'm going to keep it down because we do got to finish up the free throw. Cool. We're going to put the free throw up to a 75, meaning we finish with a 46 on the defensive rebound. Now, the thing about this build that you will pay most attention to is it is not a rebounding three build or two build to be precise. It is more meant to be a stretch the floor too in the fact that you have the capability of shooting jump shots at a high clip whilst being able to lock up on the defensive end and then of course when it comes to finishing at the cup you can do what you need to do now in total this build does come with 18 defensive 19 playmaking 25 shooting and 14 finishing match points giving you a grand total of 37 42 62 76 and with the plus four from having played the micro games that gives you 80 and then this can get up to at least an 84 with the plus ones you get from having finished the previous seasons of nba 2k23 next gen now when it comes to takeovers, the very first one I personally go with is something along the lines of negative impact because in his gameplays recently, a lot of Mikel Bridges' shots come off of the dribble and with people in his face, and he seems to knock those down with ease. And then again, for the secondary take, you can easily go with an offensive one, but I personally go with extreme clamps just because he was competing for the DPOY, which I've mentioned like 50 times, and that's because he has some lockdown defense. Now, the players we do manage to get in the shades of for this build happen to be none other than... Eddie Jones, Mikel Bridges, DeJounte Murray, which makes a whole lot of sense, a bunch of two-way players. However, the name of the build happens to be a shooter, meaning this might be one of the most deceiving builds you might run in this game, because ladies and gentlemen, no one will know it, but you will have the ability to guard as much as you want. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, which if you did, I would say, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel and you ain't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turning post notices on. And lastly, but not least, don't forget to drop a comment down below telling me how I could improve the builds as well as any other possible content you guys want to see on the channel, whether that be other builds or whether they just be sorts of gameplay. But yeah, it's been your boy Alvin MB10, aka AMR10. I'm probably going to go take some medicine. I'll catch you in a bit. Deuces.